Peter Hansborough Bell, patriot, soldier, statesman. Born in Culpeper County, Virginia in 1810. At the age of 20, he moved to Texas, joining the Army and serving under General Sam Houston in the War for Texas Independence, defeating the tyrant Santa Ana. Because of his skill and courage displayed in battle, Bell quickly moved up the ranks of the Texas Rangers. He wore his battle wounds like a badge of honor, even suffering paralysis in his right arm after being shot by an arrow. He saved the white flint arrowhead as a souvenir. For his gallantry displayed on the battlefield, the citizens of Texas elected him governor in 1849. In 1852, he was elected to the United States Congress. It was during his time in Washington, D.C. that Bell met Ella Eaton, the daughter of wealthy North Carolina landowner William Eaton. Legend has it that Mr. Eaton acquired his land on the Roanoke and Tar Rivers when one day two Native Americans from a local tribe approached him and said they had been sent by their chief to say that he had had a dream that two of Mr. Eaton's horses belonged to him. Eaton gave them the two horses, but a few days later, Eaton went to the chief and told him that he had also had a dream, that he owned as much land across the river as a fast horse could cover in a day. The chief reluctantly granted Eaton the land, but later said that the two men must dream no more. Some say this land has been cursed ever since. Governor Bell and Ella Eaton were married in 1857. President Franklin Pierce attended the ceremony. Upon completion of his second term in Congress, the newlyweds moved to North Carolina to manage Mr. Eaton's large properties, eventually settling on the 1,200-acre farm on the Tar River in Granville County, where Granville Haunt Farm currently resides. The Civil War was a hard blow to the Bell family, however. Amid the crash of this war, the fortune of Bell was swept away, and he was left old, broken, and bitter. Bell and his wife moved away, but some say Bell never really left. The community of Belltown still bears his name. It is said that during the evenings of the fall harvest, when the moon is low and full and the winds begin to howl, you can still hear Governor Bell's horse galloping through Belltown as his tormented soul continues to fight for the land he so cherished more than a century ago.